The following program was produced by an independent community producer. The opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of the ECAT staff or board of directors. Hello, Eastern residents. My name is Drew Darty, and I'm, and I'm new to the Eastern Community Access TV. I am from Braintree, Massachusetts, and I have the past experience working on the, my high school news TV station called WAF TV. Today, I want to share the, the, about the event that happened in history many years ago, which is the sinking of the RMS Titanic. Can you believe the sinking of the RMS Titanic occurred 111 years ago on April 15, 1912? Can you believe that, folks? Anyways, the RMS Titanic was a luxury steamship that sank in the, North Atlantic, in the middle of the North Atlantic Ocean after striking an iceberg at 11.40 p.m. on April 14. Of the 2,240 passengers and crew on board, more than 1,503 people lost their lives in this terrible tragedy. Today, the remains of the ship lie 12,600 feet underwater, that is nearly 2.5 miles beneath the surface of the ocean. Right now, I am going to share the, a few more details of, of what, ha what actually happened that day. On April 14, 1912, the new luxury steamship, the RMS Titanic, still headed towards New York City for her, for her first transatlantic crossing. And then at 11.39 p.m., uh, Titanic's lookouts named Frederick Flea and Reginald Lee spotted something on the horizon or what appears to be a black shadow between the stars. Lookout Frederick Flea looked closely at it and to his eyes, it appears to be the shape of the iceberg. Frederick Fleet immediately rang the bell. First Officer William Murdoch, who was on watch at, the, at this time, looked out to the distance on the starboard side bridge wing uh, and see what the confusion was with the lookouts ringing the bell. The same time, Frederick Fleet picks up the telephone and calls up, calls up into the bridge. About five seconds later, six Officer James Moody answers the telephone and Fleet shouted, Is there anyone there? Moody responds, yes, what do you see? Flea said, iceberg, right ahead. Moody says, thank you. And then at 11.40 p.m., the ship hit an iceberg on the starboard side below the waterline, damaging six watertight compartments. And less than three hours later, the RMS Titanic sank to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. 1,503 passengers and crew died in the sinking, and 705 survived. They were rescued by the RMS Carpathia and took the survivors back to New York City. Ever since the wreck was found, many areas of the ship remain unexplored to this day. However, the Titanic continues to be the large part of history and today's pop culture. You will find many books, documentaries, and museums about the devastating events that occurred 111 years ago. Even after all these years, the details of the Titanic tragedy still remains unclear. Many of you are probably familiar with the Titanic film that was directed by James Cameron back in 1997. This movie stars Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. On the night of March 23, 1998, the movie The Titanic won 11 awards of the 14 nominees of the Academy Awards. This movie continues to be the highest grossing film of all time, just behind another James Cameron's grossing film, Avatar, and its sequel with, that came out this, this past year. I hope, you, I hope you all learned something new, and I can't wait to be back here next week for, for a new pop topic to discuss. Thank you.